So I gave a session that uh, I saw on YouTube ago the other day. It was prescribed by Luke, my coach, but it was the same session as what Vincent Louis and the JFT crew did a couple of weeks back. It was a 60 minute build uh, in 20 minute stints and the JFT crew did it in 20 minutes at 3 minutes 40 per K, 20 minutes at 3 minutes 30 per K and 20 minutes at 3 minutes 20 per K, roughly, give or take because I think they went a little bit faster as it went through. I gave that a go myself and it went pretty well. Foggy morning, just on my way to the run session. So we're gonna do a big build. Pretty epic morning, right? Now obviously it was doing slightly different things for me and them. I think theirs was a far lesser intensity what it would have been for me. But that being said, it it still worked in a similar way. It was going through the gears and working different things. I need that aerobic strength and endurance for a race. And to be quite honest, that's how you run well off of the back of the bike. That's how all of these guys run so well off the back of a, a hard bike or a bike. They've got the aerobic endurance and strength from the run and these big run sessions to do it. That's not to mention that they're ridiculously good at swimming and cycling. Their swimming is far better than mine. I saw another one of the videos that they did the other week and Vince was swimming 63 seconds per 100 long course uh, off of the back of like a VO2 session sort of thing. I could probably hit 63s, but at the same time, within a session, I'm not entirely sure. We tend to do some sessions which are slightly bigger and less kind of intense. That's just our training philosophy at the moment. It's you're not doing too much intense stuff. You're focusing on the big, large volumes, big, large sessions. Building wow. back in. Got 40 minutes. 40 minutes is pretty much a full set. Yeah. Full set, but hard. Yeah, me and Ollie have got a special session to get. Because really you're special people. You're special people. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, at the time, I forgot that it was actually Vince's session that I was doing or replicating. And I just looked at my training peaks and I did a slightly modified version in comparison to them. Luke gave me 20 minutes at kind of LT1, 20 minutes just above that, uh, and then 10 minutes uh, zone 4. Uh, five minutes high zone four and then five minutes pretty damn hard like pretty much flat out felt like I was sprinting What that meant was that I was going through the full range of gears from like low end aerobic to top end aerobic and By the time I got there. I was pretty fatigued So you can't crank it too too much So you can't go too deep and into the red and how did that compare to the guys that did it in the JFT crew? well, like I said they went 340 330 320 and I wasn't too far off <laughs> I went through in about 340 for the LT1 effort, then 330 for the uh, tempo. I then upped it, and because of the course that I was on, it didn't act, the pace didn't increase at all. Uh, I was looking at more heart rate, so I was going up in like five, 10 beats per effort. And what that did is it was only just like a couple of seconds per K quicker, but again, it was it was on a different course. And then. I went all the way up to 320 per K for the last two uh, 10 minute or five minute efforts, should I say. So all in all, it looked like a similar speed uh, of session to what they did. I actually felt so good on this session. I uh, put carbon shoes on and I hadn't ridden before. I usually ride before to get a little bit more fatigue in the legs, but I thought, ah, this is such a massive session anyway. Uh, I don't want to go in with too much fatigue because I'm going to get that at the end of the session. And I've been doing that so that I can practice running under fatigue um, on these uh, hard sessions because that's when I tend to fall apart in a race is I want that aerobic strength and endurance to be able to do it at the end of a race. Being able to hold my form and like just push on 
at that back end of an hour, two hours, four hours worth of racing. By no means am I saying that I can run uh, anywhere near these guys. They are the best runners in the world for triathlon. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just not near them in that respect. But it was a similar session and I ran similar paces. Uh, it's doing a different thing for my physiology in comparison to theirs. Again, theirs is probably lower aerobic, not even touching maybe threshold. Uh, but for me, that's, that's where I'm at. That's what I need for the time being. I was also in carbon shoes uh, because I needed to protect my legs or I wanted to protect my legs a little bit more because again, that was a big session for me. It was about 25 kilometers in total. Theirs was about 30 kilometers in total. So you can see that maybe they did a bit more running uh, before and after, or maybe they ran a little bit quicker all in all. You don't hate it as much? No, I don't hate it as much. It's still pretty much hatred, isn't it? It's like, yeah. I dislike it. Oh, sorry, Doggo. What place to park your arm? You've definitely got top yeah. space there. Just that was a big session. So yeah, I did this session on my own. Uh, the rest of the squad were doing different things. Again, we all do slightly different variations of sessions just because of our physiologies and what we actually need for racing. So hopefully that makes sense. As we get closer to uh, being a better quality athlete, we tend to come together in what we do and our sessions get a little bit closer. We do a lot of sessions together, but not everything. So yeah, really interesting to do a similar sort of session to those top guys, uh, Vince and Hiele, uh, but and Aaron. But yeah, I think that I was really happy with it. I was really happy with how I ran and I'm hoping that I can transfer that into some good racing at the back end of a, a swim and bike and hopefully be able to run with a decent amount of form and function essentially. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope that made sense and I'll see you next time.